Hi everyone, Julie Powell here. I'm going to run you through how you can create your own style guides quickly and easily with Canva. So if you just go to canva.com and it doesn't matter whether you've got a free account or a pro account, just go into what will you design today and put style guide. It will then come up with a whole heap of different templates you can try and you can play with one, do a couple of different ones, go around. Now, as I said, it doesn't matter whether you've got a free account or if you've got a pro account, you can set up and make your own style guide. I'm just going to click on this one. Um, it is a pro account, but you'll still get the same basic idea as what we will be going through. So you can come in here and you can pick what colors you want and this is a really good place to start. If you haven't already done the choosing a color for your brand session in Canva, maybe go and do that and then decide on what colors that you want to work through. You can then come in here and you can pick the colors that you want. If you have particular colors that you tend to use in your photos you could put a photo in here like they have down the bottom and then those colors will come up here so that can give you something to work on or if you want particular default colors you can put in different color schemes from there you can pick what fonts you want um, there will be a choice of fonts. It will perhaps give you some recommended fonts or fonts that you use often. Um, it's quite good to have a particular font set up for whether it's your heading, your subheading and your standard text. So you've got your colors in there. You've got your text in here. So perhaps if you were to put that this was your um, perhaps your heading text um, and this as your subheading and this is your main text you can do that you can also add in little logos you can make logos in canva as well so you can go through and set up what you want so i recommend to start with setting up your color schemes and you can have from three to five colors um, I would set up your fonts. I would have three main fonts, so your heading, subheading, and your main text. Um, and whether you create a logo or not from there, that's completely up to you. If you want to go and create a logo, you can come into here and create logo. And it's got a whole heap of different logos that you want. So if you go into Co. Um, that will allow you to set up different logos and there's lots here so you can pick and choose from any of these or of course you can make your own just think about what kind of voice you want your brand to have and um, it will all fill in from there um, so for instance um, if I bring up my style guide um, I've got my little character that I had made. I've got two different versions. This is my long haired version <laughs> and I've got a short haired version because I've just recently cut my hair really short. Um, so I have different colors. I wanted something soft and neutral, but also something that wanted um, to elicit the feeling of strength and homeliness um, and all the rest of it. Um, I've got alternate logos so I have this one and I have a round one that's also got that in there I also have um, I put this little logo in um, blog posts and emails and things like that um, I have my different fonts so this is my style guide on what I use for pretty much everything whether it and I've got this set up I use MailChimp for my emails for instance I have all my colors set up in there too um, Canva I have my style guide set up in Animoto things like that 
So once you have your style guide set up as you want, you can then save it. Um, you can come in and set up those colors into things like the brand hub in Canva, or like I said, in if you're using MailChimp or if you're using Animoto, various other programs will give you um, access to be able to use your style guides, including your website. So don't forget, um, to have page colors, heading colors, button colors, all of that. So you've got it all set up so it's all cohesive across your whole brand. It gives everything a look and a feel and it looks much more professional. So have fun, but don't spend like months belaboring over it. Keep it simple to start with. Pick three fonts, three colors, um, make a simple logo and stick with it. You can always build with it on over time.